<clears throat> so this is the little armadillo girdle lizard, and the name, uh, the genus name Ouroboros, actually literally means that snake that eats its own tail. So he's a little Ouroboros right now, <laughs> defensive pose. And you can see how really spiky these guys are. You just can't get your fingers in there to get his soft belly. So how cool is that defensive pose? Cool, so we are still in the Western Cape, funny enough, and we just turned off on the side of the road somewhere random, not going to tell you where because these guys are post. But under this hat, if you guys can see, is a mini horned adder. This is a huge find for me and Luke. Uh, last time we came down to the Northern Cape, we found a macro dwarf. We never found them, but this time we managed to find him. He was actually just sitting outside basking in some, uh, some shade. Well, basking in the shade, that's what I would have said. But he was trying to hide it, and that's why he got the hat today, because it is blisteringly hot today. And we're happy to get this guy. We'll snap a few photos, and we'll release him. One of the coolest dwarf adders you can get, and a massive tick of mine and Luke's list today. Awesome. See here, uh, when we spotted him, he was actually it was actually not the snake that drew attention to him, it was actually this lizard on the bottom here. Um, just a western rock skink. And um, if you look on the side here, Luke will show you now, it's actually got two bite marks. And when we first saw him, we saw this, and then we saw the snake next to him, so it's uh, quite evident that the snake was hunting. And this, we found this lizard under the rock right next to where we found the snake, so it's a very cool predation record. We don't think he'll eat his lunch now, he's been harassed, but uh, yeah, that's him in action. Awesome. Hey guys, so we've uh, just crossed the border into the Northern Cape. Um, we're both a little bit sick, but... Yeah, Luke yeah. sounds very sick. Look at that, he's got a cough on him. Hey, yeah. yes, look at that, and throat sore. But, but um, otherwise, yeah. Yeah, what are we on? We're, I think we're 21 species so far. Yeah, and we've got some really cool stuff in the Western Cape. we got like most notable, um, I can say, uh, Mini Horn Data was quite cool. Yeah, uh, the strawberry from, from the beginning was also yeah. very, very you've got, cool. Yeah, you've got, yeah, and the... Who's got a is it? The Ouroboros. Yeah, the Armadillo Girdle Lizard. So we've had, already had a couple of really good ones, um, and a couple of lifers each, which is always really nice. And we got some, we got the study animal, the three scarf circus, yeah, um, so the three acontias. And uh, so now it's off to Ornica Bay to the coast, and uh, then through to Springbok, where we'll go meet up with Carl Finn and a friend of his. Um, and then we join a bit of a bigger group, hopefully find a couple more things there. And then off to Akrabis and then back to Gamestown. But tonight we're staying um, at a farm close to uh, one o'clock by the actual farm that Reimer stayed on for his PhD when he found one in excess of 300 the macro dwarf adders. So that's quite exciting. So hopefully we'll find one tonight. So yeah, so still a long way to go, but uh, we're keen now. Very keen. So <clears throat> we're just outside Honig Labai and we, uh, we're just cruising down this road to the town. We saw this big <clears throat> Cape Cobra. He's been hit by a car, unfortunately. Uh, it's quite a large male. He must be about just over a meter, a meter twenty or so. Um, it's a real pity, but we'll just grab the tail tip, take it for our main man vanna for P Museum. So if anyone ever runs genetics, they can use this. This big old boy Cape Cobra. I should seriously stop watching horror movies. Hey guys, so we are just on near Honig Lepai. And uh, we've got Chad managed to pick up this little guy yesterday afternoon, uh, which was the small scale girdle lizard. Yeah, Cordylus macrofolis. Um, quite a cool one for us. We've never seen one before. It's definitely one of the more striking cordylids in South Africa. As you can see, it looks a bit like a dragon. Um, we were expecting to get him in West Coast National Park, but we we're actually lucky enough yesterday when we flipped him by some rubble where we are here today. And we'll release him now. Very cool, cute lizard. Um, he only maxes out at 14 to 17 centimeters, so quite a small one in comparison to the Cape Girdle lizard, as you might see in our videos from Grahamstown. Awesome. Cool, there you go. So, <coughs> over here we have the world's smallest adder, the genus Bitters. And this is the Namaqua dwarf adder, Bitters Schneideri. And um, <coughs> we're out near Hornet Lepai, actually quite close to Brian Moritz's site study where he did his PhD on these animals. Uh, this is just a young male that we found um, just in the dunes here. And they're really, really cool little animals. And you can often see their tracks going from bush to bush. Um, in this, this June, June field land. Uh, but we found out yesterday, <coughs> with the help of Dudley Vessels, uh, that it's actually quite hard to track them. So you can find where they're going, but actually finding them is really, really tricky. But that's the Namaqua Dwarf Adder, and they're pretty cool. So we're in the same habitat as we just uh, released the Namaqua Dwarf Adder. This guy here um, is a desert lizard. 
and this guy is part of the lacerated family so he's one, of, he's one of the more common lizards you can see his feet here he's meant for running in the sand but he forms one of the main components of that dwarf adder actually quite crazy because these things are almost the same length as them um, yeah these guys run around the dunes here they're very very fast and you can see how he moves we've got a lot of stuff there we've got less than, like luke was saying earlier we got we were there for less than 24 hours we found like almost a third of everything we found on this trip in one place uh, lots of basorials, um, lots of geckos, lots of lizards, and now we're on the roads on the way to Springbok, and as you can see it's raining, and last time we did not camp in the Krabis, it rained, so it's quite interesting because it's not supposed to rain as part of the world. Yeah, every time we come to the Northern Cape it seems to rain, so I think we're in good luck charm, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, so we've got, we've got uh, Cornuta, and we've got Sunrai, so now we want to see if we can find more dollars, it's like horned at it, one we should have found on the 